who've gathered here today to commemorate the 12th convocation ceremony of our institute. This momentous occasion honors the remarkable achievements of the Chevalier's Batch, PGDM 2123, and the Maurya's Batch, PGCM 2223. As we prepare to embark on the proceedings, we kindly request all attendees to proceed to their designated seats. And please keep your mobile phones on who've gathered here today to commemorate the 12th convocation ceremony of our institute. Archie? This momentous Remain standing. I will now lead the to the reception of the reception of May I now request Director Dr. Debushi Sanya.
Thank you, sir. Thank you, Shreya. May I now request the chairman of Great Lakes Institute of Management, Mr. Mohan Lakham Raju, to kindly consent to preside over the proceedings. We now request our chairman to formally announce the opening of the convocation. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Shreya. May I now request the chairman of Great Lakes Institute of Management, Mr. Mohan Lakham Raju, to kindly consent to preside over the proceedings. I do. We now request our chairman to formally announce the opening of the convocation. I hereby declare the convocation open. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Shreya. May I now request the chairman of Great Lakes Institute of Management, Mr. Mohan Lakham Raju, to kindly consent to preside over the proceedings. I do. We now request our chairman to formally announce the opening of the convocation. I hereby declare the convocation open. Thank you, sir. Thank you.
The highest team, the ASD, has been accredited by 2024. And I'm confident that we will be ranked in top 5% of the Indian Management Institute among them in the next couple of years. Our aspiration continues to soar, and the agenda we have set for ourselves for the next five years include a wide range of dreams, including to be the most innovative tech savvy business school of the country, to emerge as top leader in the area of sustainability, to market. A market leader in contemporary technology education to launch a world class PhD program to launch a Gateway University to achieve within five years NRF ranking below 25, full time faculty strength of over 50, average publication of 2.5 per faculty teaching postgraduate program, student strength of 3,000 that includes undergraduate as well as postgraduate students. Exchange program and research teaching collaboration with at least 20 reputed foreign institutions at this four double degree program in foreign institutions. Over 1.5 crore revenue from management development programs and enrollment of more than 35 thousand students on online programs. Lastly, to be the internationally ranked in the top 100 in science and post by 2025. Now I go to our luminary, the research tip for you. Luminary yeah. is great. It's great like go down digital research symposiums that have been in virtual mode for a half year later. The symposium is a platform for researchers for management domain and allied discipline to present their current research in front of distinguished panel of experts and receive high quality feedback. The first of its kind in India to augment research and to help students across the country in the research by experiencing quality research presentation. Journal. We have two journals. Journal of Management Review and Transformation. Professor Akhtar Mohyuddin serves as the managing editor of the journal, and the editorial board consists of scholars hearing from renowned institutes across the world. From across the world. I would like to announce the successful launch of the volume two, issue one, in April 2023, adhering to our schedule. The journal is currently indexed by JK, showcasing its presence in the Equitable Academic Database, Journal of Infrastructure Development. The purpose of this peer review journal is to carry out informed public debate on infrastructure policy, given that in, in most developing countries, infrastructure as, is as much related to quality as in the market. Journal look looks at issues and concerns regarding infrastructure in India and other countries in the world. Professor Papa Dito Mukhopadhyay 
is the managing editor of the journal. The journal is a biannual and a member of the Committee of Publication Ethics, Karma Yoga. The school's Karma Yoga program is a vehicle that helps the students to engage with community around the school and engineer social societal impact. During the academic year 2023, our Karma Yoga program has expanded its operations actively. From three villages in 2018, now you know, we covered 32 villages in 2023. For 23 village schools in 2022-23, we covered 27 schools in drafting into over 2,500 students and increasing their life. Students achievement. Students are the ultimate asset by any educational institution. And the students are great against the management program are no less. This year we have students we had students participating in competition at prestigious institutes such as Top IELTS, NIT, IIT, IST, and many others. The gathering back of PGPM 2023 and PGDM 2123 won 38 and 77, 57 first prizes in respectively in the academic session. And the first year who are now in second year, 2024 back, back 39 first prizes. This is a record by itself. Tom Roy and Yash Gupta from PGP class of 23 need special mention as they have secured the 20th and 24th rank in the list of unstoppable meaningful leaders of 2023. Their impressive performance with over 30 podium finish in a year reflects the relentless dedication and talent of work. This team, the name of the achiever is a detailed report. Annual event, JPH 2022. Great Register of Management Program organized its annual management success in 20, September 2022 on the theme Sustainability, balancing the three A's economic, environment, and ethics. It was celebrated as a two day event on 6 and 7 September 2022. With the business conference 2022, Great Lakes Program hosted the first international winter conference titled International Perspectives. In economy and management for sustainability, which has participated by around 25 world renowned researchers and representatives from the industry as well as from government. Test 11. The 11th test edition of Test, the annual management test of the Great Test Program, was held on 23rd and 24th of January 2023. The fixed 56 team is made to the final from six domain competitions and one mega event. The event witnessed Almost 1,000 students received. 13 founders and days. Grading Institute of Management Gurgaon celebrates its 13 founders and days on 2nd March 2023. The day of immense pride and honor for the Institute as it marks 13 glorious years of inspiring greatness. The special speech was made more memorable by the chief guest, Mr. Bhairav K. Mandal and alums from the class of 2013 of Great Lake, Gurgaon. Mr. Mandal is the CEO and founder of Industrial Technology Private Limited and EG Learning International Yoga Day. The Yoga Day was celebrated at Great Lake, Gurgaon campus on 21st June 2023. The event was facilitated by Professor S. K. Padhan and student volunteers. Industry engagement. At Great Lake, Gurgaon, we appreciate the need for a business school to be relevant to contemporary industry needs. Throughout the academic year 2023, top industry executives have engaged with our students across different platforms. The list of distinguished industry guest speakers have been provided in the detailed report. New faculty. Since its inception, Great Lakes Gurgaon has made no compromise in hiring and maintaining intellectual capital in the form of faculty coming from rich academic as well as from industrial background. Joining the Proud cohort, we have Dr. Sadhamitra Bhattacharya, who joins as a professor in organizational behavior. She has done a PhD from IIM Calcutta. She has experienced over 14 years in beach school academics and research and over 21 years of corporate experience. She has authored 23 publications in, in peer reviewed journals and has supervised successfully four PhD students. Dr. Timur Jit Singh has joined. Great Lake Institute of Management as a lecturer in the field of finance. He does PhD in finance from the University of School of Applied Management at, at, at Punjab University. He is an active researcher. His research interest includes empirical asset pricing, 
profit finance, blockchain, investment management, fintech, equity investment study, etc. Dr. Harish Kumar has joined Great Tech program as an assistant professor of marketing. He, he holds a PhD for management development in social He is an active research again with publication in reputed marketing journals and a reviewer for more than ABCA category journals. Dr. Rehoff Singh has joined Great Tech program as active professor in the area of HR and OB. He has persuaded her PhD and MPhil in human resource management from Chase Mumbai. Her research work has been published in reputed business journal. Dr. Sita Madhuda has joined Great Tech program as a professor of finance and accounting. She has persuaded her PhD from NMIMS University. She has completed an MBA from Singapore Institute Management Business Management and is also a field fellow of the Institute of Cost and Works Accountant of India. Her research interests include firm performance, governance, and capital structure. Dr. Praveen Aluwalia has joined Great Tech program as adding faculty in area of marketing. He has contributed his mark market in economic Institute of Politics uh, uh, and his MBA in marketing at Pune University. Dr. Aliwa has over 36 years of experience in service industry comprising marketing communication and brand consulting. Dr. J. T. Singh Chaudhary has joined Great Tech's Institute of Management Group as a professor in finance and management. He has pursued his PhD in financial economics from IDIDR Mumbai and his master's in politics economics from Jawaharlal Nehru University, New Delhi. Dr. J. T. Singh has over 26 years of corporate experience. He was assisted with American Express for over 20 years, where he was the head of Global Com Commercial and Market Research Time and the chair of the Global Marketing Modeling Committee at American Express. This, this the year 2023 saw C54 Great Lakers participating in the placement process across both programs. We also had a number of monkeys, as well as new recruiters on the campus offering recruiting roles across various functions such as consulting, analytics, capital marketing, finance and operations, and product management. Deloitte, Cognizant, Gartner, Virtusa, Accenture, KPMG, JLS, Estate, as well as new recruiters like UI, Silicon Lab, HP, etc. Where PGPM placement highlights highest domestic CPC offers with INR 30 for C lakh per annum. Average CPC offers the class of 2023 was INR 15.8 lakhs per annum. Most importantly, the average post MBA CPT was 2.7 times the pre MBA CPT of the PGP class of 2023. PGTM placement highlight. Highest domestic CPT offered was INR 21.5 lakhs. Average CPT offered to the class was INR 11.6 lakhs. I'm proud to see C58 students, 150 in PGPM, out of which 105 are male and 45 are female, and 206 in PGPM, out of which 113 are male and 93 are female, with 30% female in PGPM and 45% in PGPM rising today, joining the highly accomplished family of Krim alumni. Acknowledgement. Great Lakes Gurgaon is stepping up into a widely acclaimed center of excellence, highly regarded by all its stakeholders, including industry, students, and faculty. The Institute would like to acknowledge the tremendous effort and continued and sustained support of the Board of Directors, Advisory Board, the faculty, including visiting and guest faculty, corporates, executive partners, staff, students, and the recruiting companies, as well as other organizations who have helped us in all our endeavors in several ways. We sincerely express our profound gratitude and appreciation to all our stakeholders for all the support they have rendered in helping the institute grow and evolve over the years. I feel to my dear students now. As you step out of the dynamic world of business, I want to share some insight to help you navigate and thrive in the current era. The business landscape is evolving at an unprecedented pace, driven by technology advancement shifting consumer behavior and global interconnectivity. To be successful in this era, it's crucial to be well prepared and adaptable. I want you all to consider the following three things. First, embrace lifetime learning. The pursuit of knowledge doesn't end with graduation. 
change areas and commit to continuous learning. This would involve taking short courses, attending workshops, or staying updated with industry trends and emerging technology. The ultimate goal is to be relevant. In the words of Albert Einstein, we need to report. Learn from yesterday, live from today, hope for tomorrow. The most important thing is not to stop questioning. <clears throat> Second, brief being proficient with technology is vital. Data is now the new oil, and technology is becoming the engine of things. Familiarize yourself more and more with digital tools and data analytics. I believe GateTech has empowered you enough to understand future technologies and ultimately build with it. In a technology driven era, understanding how to harness the power of data will give you a competitive edge in decision making and innovation. Finally, you, as you reach new heights, new ones to cultivate soft skills. Effective communication, leadership, and emotional intelligence is key to building strong relationships, leading teams, and driving meaningful changes. Learn to emphasize, most importantly, as managers and business leaders, emphasize with your customers. As we embark on the exciting journey, remember that your education is a springboard to a future filled with endless possibilities. You are not just equipped with an MBA degree, you are armed with tools to become a transformative leader and a driving force in an ever evolving business landscape. Your peaceful journey has provided you with not just knowledge, but a platform to network, to learn from distinguished faculty and collaborate with talented peers. And I uh, uh, utilize it. The fullest. Swami Vivekananda was asked in his post, What is the meaning of life? He replied, Life itself has no meaning. It is an opportunity to create meaning. So let us make it real life meaningful. Take a moment to express your after gratitude. Remember to thank your dedicated professor and mentor who have tirelessly nurtured you to your academic journey. Look to your left, look to your right, and take a second to think about all the great friends you have made here. Make, make a vow to keep them with you, to stay in touch with them. That too will help you more than you know in your journey. Like our dear founder, Uncle Bala used to say, your network is your network. As you enter this new chapter, Carry forward the value is, is still in you by your loved ones and our esteemed institution. Strive for excellence. Keep your thirst for knowledge alive and be a victim of integrity in your ever and every endeavor. The world eagerly waits the contribution of your brilliant mind and the impact you will make. Dear students, your parents and family members have contributed a lot to what you are today. It's a proud day for them. I would request you all. We send a big hug to them to convey your gratitude for what they have done for you. That's the least that you can do for them. Before I conclude, I simply would like to convey my gratitude to all my colleagues, faculty, and non faculty for their contribution towards the successful graduation of this class of 2023. You students have been amazing. It has been an honor to address you and your families on this special day. Congratulations. And may your journey. Be filled with accomplishment, fulfillment, and confidence. Success. I once again would like to thank the board for, for giving me the opportunity to address you all. I am in personal note, as well as from the faculty and our members of the institution, I will just continue. We all love you and love you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Mr. Mohan Lakham Raju serves as the chairman and CEO of Great Lakes Institute of Management, one of India's leading business schools where he spearheads its growth and innovation. He also co-founded Great Learning, an e-learning platform for working professionals to upgrade their competencies and succeed in the digital economy. Before this, he was the managing director of India for Tiger Global. He also spent close to 10 years in Silicon Valley. First, as an entrepreneur, 
helping build a SaaS company called Stratify. And then as a venture capitalist at Draper Fisher Jovetson. Mr. Lakham Raju did his BTEC in computer science from Indian Institute of Technology, Bombay, where he was the recipient of the Hughes Best Scholar Award, an MS in computer science from the University of California, Berkeley, where he was the recipient of the Regents Fellowship and an MBA from Stanford Business School, where he was the recipient of the David Packard Fellowship. Our chairman, Mr. Mohan Lakham Raju, was awarded the Distinguished Alumni Award at IIT Bombay's 64th Foundation Day, recognizing him for his achievements and impact as an entrepreneur. Mr. Mohan's deep-seated commitment to education stems from his personal experience of its life-changing potential. Having personally witnessed the transformative abilities of quality education, he has made his mission to provide similar impactful opportunities to others. His passion for this cause radiates through his work and accomplishments, making him a true inspiration in the realm of education and entrepreneurship. I now would like to welcome our chairman, Mr. Mohan Lakham Raju, to share his words of wisdom and guidance to the graduates of 2023. Good morning, everyone. Let me begin by extending a warm welcome to our chief guest, Mr. Vijay Dandok, my colleagues on the dais, uh, the directors, the, uh, director Vishesh Sanyal, my faculty member colleagues, all my staff colleagues, and uh, the parents and relatives that are joining us today. And uh, last but the most important starts of today, the graduates, the graduates from the PTPM and PTPM classes. I wish you all a very, very warm welcome. As we as we um, engage in this event that is momentous for all of us, I also want to acknowledge a recent event that is bigger than all of us and equally momentous. We are on the moon now. And I say that not because everybody is saying that, and it is super important, but there's something for us to actually learn from that, to apply to ourselves. And it reminded me of my one of my favorite quotes, and that is, success may manifest itself in a few big moments but it is built in the many, many small everyday moments. Let me repeat that. Success can manifest itself in a few big moments, but it's built in the many little moments that happen every day. Us going to the moon was one of those big moments. But what contributed to it? What made that happen? The number of people that were involved in that, the decades of hard work, excellence, persistence, attention to detail, teamwork, resilience, all of those things happened for years, if not decades, that made that happen. That's the important thing to recognize. And it's important because the same is going to apply to your lives. The same applies to organizations, including our own Great Lakes Institute of Management. Today, you all graduating is one of those big moments. But here, because of what you have done over the past year, past two years, and several years before that as well. If you hadn't done those things, you wouldn't have gotten admitted to these programs. And if you didn't put in the hard work that you did over the last year or two, you wouldn't be sitting here. You're also here because of all of the support 
that you received over the years from your family, from your parents, from your other loved ones as well. So let's acknowledge that. Let's recognize that. I would like you all to take a moment to look back at your relatives, at your parents, and express your heartfelt gratitude. Please take a moment to do that. And like Devaji said, when this is done, please do give them a hug. Those of you that believe in it, please touch their feet and express your gratitude. And going forward in your career, remember that it's the small moments that matter. Yes, we all like to index ourselves on the big moments. We all like to receive distinctions, get recognized, progress in our professional lives, get accolades, get promotions where that matters, get um, money, earn money. All of those things matter and those are outcomes. Most of those will not be directly in your control. But what is in your control is what you do every day. The small moments. The small moments are what you control. And how well you use those small moments is what will decide the big moments. How many you have them and how often you have them. Over the course of your entire professional life, there may not be more than 10 of those big moments. So if your entire happiness is indexed on those, it's not going to be very frequent. I've had a pretty rewarding life and career so far. And I don't think I've had more than 10 big moments so far. Right? So focus on the small moments. And the biggest, most probably relatable example for you is right in front of your eyes, our own institution. You heard Dabashi speak about where we are today. All of that started 13 years back with 28 students and two faculty members in two rooms in Udyog Bihar, right? Several of our colleagues were there at that time. And we, other than those two faculty, there were probably four or five staff as well. That's where we started. So nothing big just you know, comes out of the blue. It just doesn't happen out of the blue. It happens step by step with deliberate actions taken with thought, with passion, with hard work, persistence, all of those things. So when you think about your own career, that's how I would like you to think about it. Focus on what you can do, what you can control on a daily basis. I can give you many pieces of advice. I don't want to do that today. You know, other than focus on this because of what happened, um, you know, with the lunar landing. I think just remember that and what caused it. And you can have your own lunar landing in, in due course. The related point to that, I also want to talk about is the importance of time. You would have heard a lot of people probably talk about, you know, being impatient. Um, you know, doing fast and breaking things. Right? That's the mantra of the startup world. Yes, it is, but I think it has to be taken in context. When it comes to our individual careers and lives, I would like to say, make time your friend, not your enemy. What do I mean by that? Big things take time. If you start evaluating your life, your career progression every month, every year, the only thing that will lead to is frustration. Whereas if you actually make time your friend, give yourself time to build expertise, to become good at what you do, to master what you do, the big things will happen. Believe in the power of compounding. Warren Buffett says compounding is the eighth wonder of the world. 
I have experienced it personally multiple times, so many times, what happens when things compound over time, when effort compounds over time, when small accomplishments compound over time, when time is your friend and not the enemy. People in general are very short-term focused. We index, we over-index on the near term. We expect too much from ourselves and others in the near term, and we expect too little. We under-index on the long term. We are just not able to see what long term can do. And this applies when we think about our careers, when we think about our investments, when we think about relationships, all of those things. We under-index on the long term and over-index on the short term. This is a proven human fallacy. So my advice to you is try to not fall into that fallacy. Try to not think like that. Take time your friend. Think a little longer term. Back yourself and have faith that if you keep doing the right things, those big moments will happen. So those are my two messages to you. Focus on the everyday small things and the big things will happen. And two, give yourself time, make time your friend. I hope out of this, you can remember those two, those two things. Um, I'm very proud of the accomplishments that Great Lakes Institute of Management Gurna has had. I'm very proud of you, the students, and all the accomplishments that you had. Ultimately, the success of the institution stems from your success. So we will always be cheerleaders for you. The faculty, as they will said, deeply care about you, love you. They will always be your mentors. So anytime you need help, you need advice, you need somebody who's on your side, reach out and ask. And this could be many, many different times. I think the faculty will tell you, so I think people reach out to them for romantic advice as well. Not that they're very romantic themselves, but they've been there. So, so anything in that, they're just not your gurus academically, they're your gurus for life. And there are some very wise people on our faculty. And I genuinely mean that. I have seen evidence of their wisdom. So take advantage of that as you make your big decisions in your life. And be connected with the institution. You will have lots to share. Just like your seniors have shared with you, you will have lots to share. As you learn, share that. And you will discover that actually sharing your expertise and knowledge is a very, very fulfilling and joyful experience. So do share that with us. Stay in touch with the institution. And I'm sure that with all of the things that we are working on, we are doing, we, the institution will always be a source of pride for you. So just like we will be your cheerleaders, you keep cheering the institution as well and supporting it in all the ways that we can. I have a deep debt of gratitude to my own alma mater. My life changed because of the experiences I got in the institutions that I've gone to. The reason I got into education is that awareness, as was mentioned before, from where I was when I was 17 years old to where I am now, almost 47. Um, there is absolutely no comparison. And the primary drivers of those are the experiences that I got and then what I have been able to do with that. But it still took 30 years, right? So it's the journey is going to be long and all the right things will happen as long as you do the things that we talked about. So I want to congratulate you on this momentous occasion for what you have already accomplished. I want to wish you all the very best for all the things you are going to do. So go forth and do your best and all the big things will happen. Congratulations. Thank you very much. God bless you. God bless Jaden. And God bless you with us. Mr. Vijay Chanduk is the MD and CEO of ICICI Securities, India's largest wealth, wealth tech firm since May 2019. Under his leadership, ICICI Securities has doubled its top line as well as bottom line. He has been with the ICICI group for over three decades.
serving in various capacities. Prior to his current role, he was the executive director on ICICI Bank's board. Over the years, he has been involved in setting up, scaling up, stabilizing, and managing acquisition-led business integrations. He has worked in corporate banking prior to leading the SME business and the international banking group. He was also the head of ICICI Bank's retail banking group and vice chairman of ICICI Home Finance Company Limited in 2008 and 2009. He also led the integration of the erstwhile Sangli Bank with ICICI Bank. He is on the board of ICICI Investment Management Company Limited, ICICI Bank UK PLC, and ICICI Bank Canada. Furthermore, he held the position of chairman at ICICI Investment Management Company, overseeing the management of the Emerging India Fund and Private Equity Fund. Under Mr. Chandok's leadership, ICICI Bank has won awards for being India's best bank in SME financing in 2008 and the Asian Banker Award for excellence in SME banking in Asia Pacific, Central Asia, and Gulf region in 2009. In the international banking space, Mr. Chando has been focusing on strengthening the bank's franchise across overseas locations through leveraging the economic corridors between India and the rest of the world, initiating and developing banking relationships with MNC corporates and building a stable and diversified international funding base. During his tenure, IBG has won several awards, during, uh, including the best borrower from India by Finance Asia for four consecutive years and Dun and Bradstreet's best bank in private sector for international business development consecutively for five years. Mr. Chando is a graduate from IIT Bhuvaneshwar and also holds a postgraduate management degree from NMIS. In 2017, he was conferred with a Distinguished Alumnus Award from NMIS University. It is with great pleasure that I extend a warm welcome to Mr. Chando to address the August Thank you, Mr. Uh, that was a rather long introduction. A lot of stuff that was said, I almost forgot. So, uh, distinguished three from the dais, all the wonderful galaxy of professors uh, that I met this morning, and I'm truly impressed with them. Uh, I can see a lot of parents here. I don't know if some of the grandparents are here as well. Big day, big moment. And of course, uh, the staff of this institute and uh, one cannot not mention the bright faces that I see, the beautiful and handsome um, you know dresses that you're wearing makes you look really elegant, my dear students. A very good uh, morning to all of you. Uh, at the outset, uh, I would like to thank uh, Dr. Sanyal and Dr and uh, Mr. Mohan uh, Lakham Raju for having invited me to be part of this very special event. I'm truly delighted uh, to be here and share my thoughts on a day when you are making a transition into what I would say the real world. So today uh, is a special day. And uh, in many ways, it marks the culmination of not just your hard work and perseverance, but like was pointed out, the sacrifice that has been made by your parents, a lot of it has gone even without you knowing it. Your guardians, your loved ones. So I think please do take a moment to acknowledge their contribution. It was of course, after all their hard work, your hard work that has made you what it is today. I also feel it's very important uh, to take a few moments to acknowledge the contribution of your wonderful professors who have worked so tirelessly over the last 
two years as you've been moving through this institution. So my request to all of you would be, please do take a take a pause and a big round of applause is totally due to all of you uh, here and outside who have made you what you are. Extremely happy for uh, each one of you. You are, after all, graduating from one of the top business schools uh, in India. And uh, it's been after two, what should I say, grueling years, enjoyable years. Yes, it has been grueling and enjoyable. Lots of learning, I'm sure. But let me tell you, I'm, um, I, I sat exactly where you're sitting uh, 30 years back. And last week, I was trying to actually recollect what happened during my convocation. I thought, but my mind just didn't flash back anything meaningful. Sub kuch forgotten. So I uh, asked my wife, who incidentally happened to be my classmate. Uh, bhai kuch yaad aaya, kya hua tha? And during the course of that conversation, uh, I was reminded that we never had a conversation. So the world was really very different back then. When I passed out 30 years back, India was quite small as a country compared to what you see today. And over the years, I came across, as I started working, some terms. You, you, I'm sure you've already come across these terms, and you will come across these terms much more as you move ahead. GDP, per capita GDP, growth rates, all of that. And as I came across these terms, I thought these were numbers. These were numbers which indicated some stuff about the country. But over time, I have learned to associate these numbers in some sense, it may not be in a very traditional sense, but in some sense, with quality of life that a country enjoys. So I'm good, therefore going to highlight some of these numbers back then, 30 years back when I passed out. It's very interesting. At that point in time, India was, I said, a small country in terms of GDP. We were just about 275 billion dollars per capita income, I remember, because somebody actually asked me this question in the interview. I don't know why. And I just happened to have read an article around that time and I answered the question. He was very pleased. Maybe that's why I got the job. But the uh, GDP per capita was just about $300. It was $315 to be precise. Cut to today, this number has moved to $3.5 trillion and the per capita has crossed $2,500, more than that. So it's been a multiple increase. Back in the day, India was ranked number 16, number 16 in the baking order. Then we all know. We all know that it is the fifth largest country in the world. The short point is that we've seen a lot of growth. We've seen a lot of growth over the last 30 years. And when I look at what this growth has done, I can assure you, and I can, I'm sure all the professors in this room will also agree with me that the quality of life in these last 30 years is certainly, certainly, certainly improved. And as I paint a picture of the future of India uh, as we move forward, uh, I can clearly see a portrait where in the next 20, 30 years, I have no doubt that we will be a far richer and a better country than we are today. And therefore, without any doubt, you are going to have a far better, richer life than what you have experienced up till now and what your parents and our grandparents have experienced up till now. So for starters, let me tell you, you are starting your life at a very good time. You're in a good spot. And, and then that's a great thing to 
would really happen to you. And I'm, I actually feel truly envious of all of you because I wish I could also be starting my career um, so that I get all the advantages that you're going to get along your life. But let me also tell you that uh, as you move forward in your life, it's not going to be a straight line. There are going to be disappointments. There are going to be volatilities. There are going to be frustrations that you'll come across. So I thought today, um, let me share my perspective on how I have tried to deal with some of these issues. Maybe some of them will resonate with you sometime. Maybe it will connect with you at some stage. So while I know that what I'm going to say today, most of you would have even forgotten a few weeks down, certainly a few months down. But I, I still feel obligated that I should tell you some stuff that I wanted to share with you. And I would share it in form of a story. And in case you people have heard that story, um, I'd like to apologize because I love the story. So you have no option, no escape. You have to hear that story. Because I think it very nicely weaves in some of the learnings of my life, uh, which I can try and put forward. Uh, to all of you. So the story is actually based in Japan. So this is a story of a young man. A young man who, like all of you, uh, passed out from an MBA college. Some of you are going to take up jobs, some of you are going to become entrepreneurs. So he decided to become an entrepreneur. And uh, he decided to join his dad's business. Dad was running a business in fishing. And uh, he decided to join that business. So I'm sure you know that Japanese people love fish. And they love uh, they have a pension for consuming fresh fish. So he joined his business and business was booming. Life is good. Business was flourishing. And when the business flourishes, life is good. Lots of money getting made. What happens? Competition happens. The so competition came. And when competition came, more fishing happened around. And over time, what happened is that uh, the fishes that they were catching started disappearing from the coast of Japan. So as a result, the boats had to go deeper and deeper into the sea to catch this fish. And uh, by the time the fish came back to the shore, uh, the fish was kind of stale. And when that happened, sails spread out. So suddenly the young man realized that what's happening here, sails is falling down. So what does this young man do? He says, no, no, let me think. Let me solve this problem. I, after all, I'm an MBA. I'm used to, I've been taught how to solve problems. So he says, okay, let me fix this. It's a simple fix. I'm going to install large freezers onto my trawlers and catch the fish, put it into the trawlers and bring it to the shore. Job done. So he did that and he got um, frozen fish to the shore. And sure enough, what happened? Sales started once again going up. But I said, life is never a straight line. Life is never a straight line. After some time, suddenly these fellows, the Japanese people are discerning guys. They understood that yet same fish line hai. This is a frozen fish. This is not tasting like fresh fish that I'm used to. Sales once again came down. Now, what does this fellow do? Again, he thought and thought. He said, no, 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 I'm not going to give up. I'm going to solve this problem. So he said that I'm going to now install a fish tank onto my trawler. And instead of putting it into a freezer, I will catch the fish, put it into this fish tank so that it remains alive. And then go deep, bring the live fish back to the shore and then give it to the uh, Japanese uh, customers. So he did that. And again, what happened? Sales started once again picking up. But Life is never going to be straight line. It's going to be lots and lots of frustrations and failures along the way. So same thing happened. The Japanese said, nine, nine, this is not the same thing. It is not tasting like the way original fish used to taste. It is not okay. So once again, sales started declining. So he said, Are, hey, kya ho gaya? what happened? I thought I solved this problem. I've got live fish. Then he said, fish is not selling. By this time, uh, I think uh, Sanyal had also said that you should keep reskilling yourself. You should keep upgrading your skills. So he was also doing all that. He had learned analytics, research, lots of stuff that was relevant in the day. And then 
when he did that he said let me do some research and i'll try and figure out okay, what really is the problem so his research indicated that when fish is put into a tank it no longer has its natural habitat and it becomes sluggish and because it is sluggish it does not have the same kind of vigor energy rigor and uh, therefore doesn't taste as good so that's the reason why the taste of the fish is not as good now he has a problem of a live fish which is coming fresh but it is still not tasty now you have to solve this problem because this young man solved this problem anyone wants to make a guess how this problem was solved you don't have time for that but i will tell you what he did he said ye to simple problem hai i will solve it he caught some small sharks and put it into the fish tank so when he did that the shark started you know running behind the fish the fish to save their life started running hither thither and some of them died but many of them survived and they reached in a agile fashion and the fish stayed tasted very good so the business started going up again so this is how he solved this problem of uh, this fish the story will go on story will go on but uh, let us end the story here now and pick up some of the interesting lessons that i thought we could uh, take away from from this uh, young fisherman who like you guys an mba entrepreneur and solved all these issues the first lesson to me is that please don't give up don't give up i think uh, mr mohan so nicely put put it to that time example small 10 big moments lots and lots of small moments so small moments you don't know which small moments will add to that 10 big moments but you still have to go through several small moments so don't give up you will you will face lots of frustrations treat each of these frustrations like a challenge try to be focused try to listen to the customer try to understand and try to solve these problems and how you really deal with your your failures is what is going to determine what is going to come out of you in the future the second lesson that i thought which is important which is important to me is work smart and develop a solution oriented attitude very very important in a workspace environment whatever you achieve is not going to come that due to by just working hard all of you are going to work hard there is no iota of doubt but that is table stakes not only you have to work hard you have to work smart now look at this young man each time he faced an uh, obstacle he devised an inexpensive solution which was quickly implementable right so this solution oriented approach is what helped this young man so similarly in your career you are going to come across um, very many situations where it may look like you are at a dead end but i think it's your ingenuity your ability to remain calm cool and find the a solution oriented uh, a solution behind it and then not just find the solution and leave it there i find a lot of people find the solution and don't implement Execute it because you are as good as what you execute. The the thought process alone is not good enough. Otherwise, your competition is going to get end up. So, solution oriented mindset and strong execution. The third uh, lesson again came out: innovation and reskilling. I think that point is very clear. Critical in today's world that you have to keep reskilling. Upgrading yourself with whatever is happening in the world around you today. It is an analytics, AI, uh, machine learning. Tomorrow, something more is going to happen. Uh, don't stop here. Keep learning. Keep yourself curious. Keep going on that journey. The fourth lesson is engage with shareholders. You can't work in isolation in a in a setup. Whether you are running your business, whether you are running uh, for a job or whatever, please engage continuously with your stakeholders. and when you are engaging with your stakeholders it could be internal stakeholders external stakeholders depending on the job that you do sometimes customers sometimes just your colleagues who are working in another department please understand you are serving them so unless and until uh, you engage and understand what your customer wants all the work that you do is going to be irrelevant 
The last lesson I want to uh, talk to you about, the fifth and the last lesson, is welcome challenges. Think from this fish's point of view. The fish that had become sluggish um, due to that limited activity in the fish tank, when they were subjected to this uh, shark, uh, they, 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 the ones who actually escaped the shark actually remained uh, fresh and agile. Uh, they were the ones who accepted the challenges and tried to make the best out of the situation. So challenges are like sharks. Don't run away. Don't try and avoid them. You have to uh, face them and deal with challenges. I I'll close my talk now with some of these lessons, but uh, I'd just like to say a few more things uh, as you are building up your career. Please follow your passion, whatever it may be. Be true to yourself and define your own version of success. Don't try and follow somebody else's path. Um, I also want to say one more thing that your career is important, but more important than that are relationships and family. Please give enough time to your loved ones as you go through your journey and uh, pay enough and more attention uh, to your health. You're all young, you're all fit. It will be, don't take it for granted. Please understand that you have to remain fit for the next 70, 80 years. Take care of your health at this stage. And you can do that much only if you're unhealthy. So let me conclude, uh, dear students, uh, with by wishing each one of you all the best for your wonderful future. And I hope and I'm confident that all of you will succeed in realizing your considerable, uh, your, your considerable potential. Thank you very much for having me here and giving me a patient uh, this name. All the best to all of you. Thank you, sir. Your insights are most appreciated. I now request our chairman to take approval from the Academic Council to present the certificates. Does it please the members of the Academic Committee to approve the award of the certificates of the Institute for the candidates who have become eligible to receive them at this foundation? Directors of PGDM 2021-23 and PGPM 2022-23, I request you to please present all the candidates who have become eligible for the award of certificate of the institution and who are receiving them in person. I would kindly request our chief guest, Mr. Chandogh, and our chairman, Mr. Mohan Lakham Raju, to come forward and present the certificates to the graduates. I hereby call upon our director, Dr. Debashish Sanya, to present the PGDM 21-23 graduates. so much. So instead of Dr. Sanyal, I will do the honors. Good morning to everyone. The candidates will individually receive their certificates from the chief guest, as I call their names, and then return to their seats. I am happy to present Srijita Bose and 205 other participants who have been examined and found qualified for the postgraduate diploma in management and request the Great Lakes Institute of Management to confer the diploma on them. Srijita Bose. Srijita has been placed in the chairman's list in the term six. Another Venu Gopalan Kartha. She has been placed in the chairman's uh, merit list in the terms two, three, five, and six. And she was also the domain topper of analytics. Anjali Goel. Anjali has been placed in the chairman's merit list for the terms two, three, and six. Angita Dash. 
Ankita has been placed in the chairman's merit list in uh, term six. Apoor Matha. Apoor has been placed in the chairman's merit list in the terms four, five, and six. Ayushi Gupta. Ayushi has been placed in the chairman's merit list in term six. Chinmay Kulkarni. Chinmay has also been placed in the chairman's merit list in term six, and he has made outstanding contribution to Mark West. Disha Dua. Disha has been placed in the chairman's merit list in the terms two, three, five, and six. She is also the domain proper of marketing. Divij Verma. Divij has been placed in the chairman's merit list in the terms two, three, four, five, and six. And he is also the domain topper of finance. Harsh Kothari. Kritika Bora. Kritika has been placed in the chairman's merit list in terms five and six. Shah Lekha Hitin. Priyanshi Agarwal. Ritu Gil. Ashwara Kejriwa. Anurag Pandey. Ganeshwar Malhotra. Please give her. Thank you so much. Manasvi Mori. Manasvi has been placed in the chairman's merit list in terms one and two. Meghna Mukherjee. Meghna has been placed in the chairman's merit list in the terms one and six. Nili Mishra. Nili Mishra has been placed in the chairman's merit list in terms five and six. Asit Pachan Joshi, placed in the chairman's merit list in term four. Sambud Roy. Sambud has made outstanding contribution to the placement committee. Songa Gurnani. Songa has been placed in the chairman's merit list in term two. Shiv Harsh Narayan Singh. Shivam Nakani. Ridav Goyal. Ridav has been placed in the chairman's merit list in term five and he made outstanding contribution to the operations club. Radhav Jesrotia. Ridhima Singh. Redima has been placed in the chairman's merit list in terms four and five. Shivan Omarai. Shreya Jain. Shreya has been placed in the merits list, merit list of term six. Shubh Sharma. Has been placed in the chairman's merit list in term five. Sumit Singhal. Sumit has also been placed in the chairman's merit list in term five. Kashali P. Vashnavi S. Vashnavi made outstanding contribution in the cultural club. Vasant S. Vasant has been placed in the chairman's merit list in terms four and five. Kabani Vatsal Ashwin Bhar. 
placed in the chairman's merit list in terms three and five. Vishal Singh. Vishal Singh has been placed in the chairman's merit list in term four. Vivek Taneja. Kavali Veera Venkata Durga Akhilesh. This is the chairman's list in term four. Yashruti Sharma, placed in the chairman's merit list in two and six terms. Outstanding contribution in Prayas entrepreneurship cell. Abhis Samir Shah. Abhinash Mohapatra. Adarsh Sethi. Aditya Mehrotra. Amrapali Das Gupta. Animesh Singh. Let the appreciations carry on, please. Animesh is placed in Chairman's Merit List in Term 6. Ankit Jain. Ankit made outstanding contribution in the place form. Devya Khattar. Gopalani Vinita Kishan. Ashim Maheshwari. Imani Chaura. Irulgar Ashwin Uday, placed in Chairman's Merit List 2. Janvi Gulati. Kamya. Kamya has been placed in the Chairman's Merit List in Term 5. Yati Sharma. Nayan Sharma. Outstanding work for the student council. Neha Gupta. Pranav Kumar. Ragya Gupta. Pahit Kumar Vishwakarma. Adil Khan. Alisha. Arnav Roy. Kriyar Rupesh Sanjay. Iti Mishra. Iti has made outstanding contribution in the ADCOM and BPR committee. Karan Chawla. Kondarkar Tanvi Vinod. Koparthi Venkatesh. El Siddharth. 
एम पी वैष्णवी वैष्णवी हैज बीन प्लेस इन चेयरमैन मेरिट लिस्ट फाइव मानसी सचदेवा नेहा मौर्य राधिका चंद्र सात्विक अग्रवाल विच शर्मा शोभित हैज इन प्लेस इन द चेयरमैन स्पेरिट लिस्ट टर्म सिक्स शुभम अरोड़ा Based in the Chairman's Merit List Six, Simran Agrawal, Aman, Anshul Bansal, K K Anirudh. वर्षिता अनमोल अनमोल हैज बीन प्लेस इन द चेयरमैन स्पेरिट प्लेस इन टर्म सिक्स अंशिया बंसल चारू दिव्या भारद्वाज इजमेल थॉमस इजमेल हैज बीन प्लेस इन द चेयरमैन स्पेरिट टेस्ट इन टर्म फोर नेहा जगूजा Rapsimer Kochar. Rapsimer has been placed in the Chairman's Merit List Term Six and has made outstanding contribution in place com. Ranjali Prakash Konekar. Raghav Agarwal. Sarthak. Uh, sorry, Rubal Agarwal. सार्थक पालीवाल शिवांगी ग्रोवर शिवांगी हैज बीन प्लेस्ड इन द चेयरमैन मेरिट लिस्ट इन टर्म वन स्मृति झा सौम्या जैन Somya has been placed in the chairman's merit list in term five. Sri Ram S R. Subraman Sinha. स्वर्णाली मालाकर वंशिका नागपाल यशस्वी श्रीवास्तव आंचल बैंक
whole rice farm. Anmol Sandhu. Arshjot Singh Khan. Ashwil Su. Aisha Malhotra. Krishna. Bhumika Chitkara. Garma Sechia. Gopal Krishna Panda. Jin Kaur. Himanshu. Ipshita Chakrabarti. Juhi Parik. Juhi has done outstanding contribution in student council. Mishra Surabhi Dilip Kumar. Radhika Sharma. Shobhit Prakash. Trishti Amba Selkar. Swati Sagar. Tanish Bansal. Tushars Shodhwani. Vanshika. Vipul Malcolm Joseph. Vishal Kanyal. Vishal has done outstanding contribution in Imperial Vista Club. Agamsha Tunsia. Agash Chandar. Shubhi Saxena. Shubrika Sharma. Siddharth Shiv. Sonnet Jogra. Manshika Mehra, Vinandan Sharma, Aman Sharma, P. Nair, Anvesha Banerjee,
Evans Naveen Anand. Avira Abraham. Devansh Gupta. Palak Goyal. Geeti Sudha. Harshita Srivastav, Isha Agarwal, Aman Anand, Aman had won the maximum number of a study business plan competitions for this year and won the prize. Kal Gandhi. Ankit Sharma. Shramani. Gimbali Ishan Sara Keshav Damani Mahima Dubey Dimela Madhu Prakash Reddy Naman Jain Nikhil Biju Nikhil has been placed in the Chairman's Merit List Term 5. Vadala Vaibhav Rao. Palak Handelwal. Pallavi Gaur. Yali Chatterjee. Sachdev Akshata Gurpreet Singh. Akshita was placed in Chairman's Merit List in Term 6 and she made an outstanding contribution in the Alcon Committee, Alumni Committee. Saket Chaudhary. Shivani Khanna. Shivi Nair. Sin Abhigyan Raviranjan. Ripti Jhaur. Aman Gangwar. Ankita Joshi. Ashutosh Kumar Sa Babsar Vatsal Jayesh Kumar Gaurav Kedia Lakshya Ori
मनप्रीत कौर ग्वालियर निकिता पराशर पीयूष कुमार प्रदीप असनानी पूर्वा प्रमोद सिंह गौतम आर आकाश ऋषभ दुगर पृथ्वीज वाय बगड़िया एस साई कृष्णा सचिन विजय समीक्षा अग्रवाल सांगवी पार्ट मुकेश कुमार ही मेड आउटस्टैंडिंग कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन इन द स्ट्रेटेजिस्ट क्लब शशांक शेखर शिवम अग्रवाल शिवेंद्र बहादुर पांडे श्रेष्ठ सोनी हंशु तिवारी शुभि सक्सेना शुभ्रिका शर्मा सिद्धार्थ शिव सोनेट डोगरा श्रेया समदार राहुल छावड़ा कुश रावत पवन चंगलानी शिवानी Sir, I kindly request the director of PGCM, Dr. Jones Matthew, to present the PGCM graduates. I also request our director, Dr. Sanyal, and our chief guest, Mr. Chandok, to present the certificates to the PGCM graduates. Um, before I announce the names, I would request all our audience members, parents, everybody to applaud our students as they put in 
you know, bring it to an end. And I, uh, so please don't go easy on your applause, make it really loud. I begin by announcing the names of uh, 150 students, starting with Ayush and other part participants who have been examined and found qualified for the postgraduate certificate in management. And request Great Lakes Institute of Management to account to confer the certificate on them. I begin by announcing the names of students graduating with magna cum laude distinction. Ayush. Aditi Jayant Saikhedkar. Aditi has also featured in Chairman's Merit List in Term 7. Aditi Avardhan. Goranshi Gupta. Goranshi has featured in the Chairman's Merit List in Terms 2 and 7. She is also the domain topper in operations and is felicitated for being the outstanding contribution to Prayas, the entrepreneur self. Ishveen Kaur. Ishveen has featured in the Chairman's Merit List in Terms 2, 4, 5, 6, and 7. A big round of applause, please. Jayesh Jain D. Neha Makin. Neha has been in the Chairman's Merit List in Term 3. Nishtha Jain. Nishtha has featured in the Chairman's Merit List in Terms 5 and 6. Pradeep Kumar Chauhan. Pradeep has been in the Chairman's Merit List in Term 1. Rishab Makkar, Chairman's Merit List in Term 6 and 7. Ritwik Gupta, he is featured in the Chairman's Merit List in Terms 1, 3 and 6. And he is also the domain topper in the Analytics AI ML area. Chishodhya Shubham Vivek. Chishodhya has featured in the Chairman's Merit List in Term 2. Merugu Abhinan. Abhinan has featured in the Chairman's Merit List in Term 5. Yes, keep the applause going. Abhishek Parikh. Akshay Mishra. Akshay has featured in the Chairman's Merit List in Terms 3 and 7. Yadav Anshu Nanyalal. Anshu has featured in Chairman's Merit List in Term 2. Okay. Okay. Adira Vinod, she is featured in the Chairman's Merit List in Terms 1, 2, 3, 6 and 7. And she is the topper in the digital strategy area and is recognized for her outstanding contribution to the Imprivista Club. Ayan Khan Zai. Ayan is featured in the Chairman's Merit List in terms 1, 3, and 4. Bhavya Sagan. Bhavya is featured in the Chairman's Merit List in terms 1 and 7. Nikhil Anand. Sarvik Ghosh. Bangaru Shanmukh. Singh Shivam Gauri Shankar. Shivam has featured in the Chairman's Merit List in Term 7. Shubhangi Karmakar. Shubhangi has featured in the Chairman's Merit List in Term 7. Bharbarkar Vaishnavi Samir. Vaishnavi has featured in the Chairman's Merit List in Term 7. Yash Gupta. He's been in the Chairman's Merit List in Terms 3, 5, and 7. Abhishek Singh. Abhishek Upadhyay, Abhishek 
अमीना जयवीर अविनाश अनंत मोहन भटनागर अनुराग अतुल अतुल इज अ डोमेन टॉपर इन द मार्केटिंग एरिया भावना गुप्ता भावना फीचर इन द चेयरमैन मेरिट लिस्ट इन टर्म फाइव विक्रम आदित्य घोष कैमिलिया हाजरा कैमिलिया फीचर इन द चेयरमैन मेरिट लिस्ट इन टर्म सेवन हैरिया मिश्रा Divya Krishna, Divya is recognized for her outstanding contribution to the Strategy Club. Divya Sahu, Sanjay Gaurav Pramod, Harshit Tambi. Himanshu Shekhar. Himanshu has featured in the Chairman's Merit List in Term Seven. Jilla Sushmita. Karan Sajdeva. Karan has featured in the Chairman's Merit List in Term Seven. Kushbu. नवनीत गोस्वामी नितेश वरियानी पार्थ टंडन संजय सिंह बिश शिवांगी कुशवाहा शिवांगी इज फीचर्ड इन चैवन मेरिट लिस्ट इन टर्म सिक्स शुभ्रता गुप्ता शुभ्रता इज फीचर्ड इन चैवन मेरिट लिस्ट इन टर्म सेवन यश गुप्ता अभिलाष श्रीवास्तव Aditya Shikhar, Aditya has featured in the Chairman's Merit List in Term Five and is recognized for his outstanding contribution to the Mark West Club. Arunava Gupta, Arunava has featured in the Chairman's Merit List in Term Seven. Vijit Majumdar, Devoji Pal. दीक्षा शर्मा दिलीप के दिलीप इज रिकॉग्नाइज फॉर इज फॉर आउटस्टैंडिंग कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन टू द कल्चरल ग्लॉब गोपेश महेश्वरी हर्ष गर्ग इशिता कैद
Michel Bora. Radium Naji. N. Priyadarshini. Priyadarshini has featured in the Chairman's Merit List in Term 3. Priya Jha. Sakshi Manchanda. Shavi Goel. Shavi featured in the Chairman's Merit List in Term 6. Tibari Sudhir Raghavan, Bolepalli Vasish, Vasish has featured in the Chairman's Merit List in Term 5, now I call upon students graduating, Rupsa Basu, Mali Akash Vinod, Anshu Pratim Chakrabarti, Anmol Singh Dhardi. Anmol is recognized for outstanding contribution to the Student Council. Ashutosh Tyagi, Ayushi Bhattacharya. Amy Bhardwaj, Farheen Zabi, Manasvi Gangrade, Mike Kumar, Mike Sopi, Ahmed Irfan Farooq. Dal Mukund. Priyanka Mohanty, Ranit Ghosh, Aki Ravi Nagesh, Seema Negi. Seema is recognized for outstanding contribution to the Alcom Committee. Shinjani Mahundas, Suma Vijay Kumar Basupurara, Amrita Arora, Anirudh Dashokar. Ayush Shubhastha, Himakshi Nigra, Himakshi is featured in the Germans Merit List in Term 6, Jolit Kunal Somnath, Madhav Arora, Prakar Agarwal, Praveen VB,
हमीन राज गिरीश Rikhil Lamba, Rikhil is recognized for outstanding contribution to the ADCOM and BPR committees. Rishabh Jaiswal, Sandeep Kumar Kandoi, Sarthika Gupta. सोमिल उपाध्याय सोमिया तिवारी शुभम गुप्ता श्लोक गुप्ता चार पिन वाला था वो लग गया ग्राउंड प्लस माइक और ग्राउंड प्लस लैपटॉप लाइन श्रेया दास शुभम अग्रवाल शुभम शाह स्टेफन सैमसन तनवी माथुर तनवी फीचर इन द चेयरमैन मेरिट लिस्ट इन टर्म सेवन उदय पुरकर अंकर सियोग सुधीर कृष्णा बी एम कृष्णा हैज बीन रेकग्नाइज फॉर आउटस्टैंडिंग परफॉर्मेंस इन प्लेस फॉर्म प्रीता एन डोमला शुभ कुमार अर्णव त्रिपाठी आशीष कुमार रोहित गर्ग थैंक यू Thank you, sir. May I request Dr. V. P. Singh, the director, PGDM, to announce the names of the PGDM prize winners. I would like to invite our director and chief guest to kindly award medals to the outstanding graduates. I am very pleased to announce that Dr. Bala V. Bala Chandran Gold Medal for Academic Excellence and a cash prize of rupees one lakh goes to Divish Verma. Equally pleased to announce that Chairman's Gold Medal for Best Outgoing Student and a cash prize of rupees one lakh goes to. Another Venu Gopalan Tartha. May I now request the PGCM Director, Dr. Jones Matthew, to announce the names of the PGCM Prize winner.
I'm pleased to announce the Dr. Balavi Balachandran Gold Medal for Academic Excellence for the year 2022-23 has been awarded to Adira Virod. This award carries a cash prize of rupees 100,000. I'm also pleased to announce that the Chairman's Gold Medal for Best Outgoing Student for AY2 2022-23 for the PGPM batch has been awarded to Neha Makin. This award also carries a cash prize of 100,000 rupees. And finally, I'm also very happy to announce the winner of the Best Life Project Award. Ayush, Aditi, Jain, Saikhedkar, and Abhishek Upadhyay. Thank you. Thank you, sir. I would like to invite our director to administer the pledge to the graduating, uh, graduating batch of PGDM 2021-23 and PGCM 2022-2023. I ask all graduating students to kindly stand up for the pledge. Are requested to repeat after the pledge. We, the graduates of Great Tech Institute of Management, Gurgaon, hereby pledge that we shall, in thought, word, and deed, be scrupulously honest and strive for excellence in everything we do. Going for the vision, courage and wisdom developed at our institute, we shall uphold our dignity, professional ethics, moral character, and the honor of our institute as we serve our profession, society, and nation. Thank you. Thank you, sir. All the graduates to all the PGDM graduates to stand up, please. All the PGDM graduates to stand up, please. By the powers given to me by the Board of Great Lakes Institute of Management, I hereby confer the PGDM degree on you and I charge you that in your life by word and deed you prove yourself worthy of it. Thank 
PGTM graduates, please be seated. I request the PGCM graduates to kindly stand up. And the powers given to me by the Board of Great Lakes Institute of Management, I hereby confer the PGPM degree on you, and I charge you that in your life, by word and deed, you prove yourself worthy of it. So your degrees are not official, can I still sign this? <laughs> Now they are official. Thank you, graduates. Please be seated. At this juncture, I kindly ask our chairman, Mr. Mohan Lakham Radu, to present the memento to the chief. May I now request the chairman to declare the convocation closed? I hereby declare the convocation closed. Thank you, sir. May I now request Dr. Uma Shankar Bangladesh, Director of Online MBA, to give the vote of thanks. Thank you. Chief Guest, Honorable Sri Vijay Chandu, Managing Director, ICICI Securities. A break from protocol, please allow me the privilege to invoke the memory and spiritual presence of our revered founder, the late Professor Balavi Balachandran, Patmashri, who left us for his heavenly abode on the 20th September 2021. But to all of us at Great Lakes, he is omniscient and omnipresent. Chairman, Great Lakes Institute of Management, and founder and CEO of Great Learning, Sri Mohan Lakhun Raji. Dr. Devashish Sanyal, Director, Great Lakes Institute of Management, Burga. Chief Operating Officer, Great Lakes Institute of Management, Sri Gautam Lakhun Raji. Program Directors, Dr. Puni Magutta, Dr. Jones Matthew, and Dr. V.P. Singh. Faculty colleagues, Beloved students from the graduating class of 2023, staff members, upper guests, parents, members of media, students, ladies and gentlemen. Today is a momentous and joyful day which marks the symbolic cutting off of the umbilical cord for the class of 2023, who nurtured through a prolonged gestation period by their mother institution, the Great Lakes Institute of Management, Gurgaon, today spread their wings and are ready to fly. To you, the class of 2023, I convey heartiest felicitations and blessings on my behalf and on behalf of the executive body, faculty and staff of Great Lakes Institute of Management with the conviction that you will strive to excel in all your future and professional endeavors while simultaneously being the nurturers of your extended family which from today onwards also includes your Great Lakes family. Third class of 2023, from now on, Great Lakes Burgaon is your permanent home, and each one of you will remain welcome here for all times to come. May each one of you become great citizens and great leaders in whichever field of endeavor you choose to be a part of, bon voyage. To begin my word of thanks, it is my distinct pleasure to begin with our chief guest, the Honorable Sri Vijay Chandok, 
Managing Director, ICICI Securities, for his present today. Sir, I cannot help but express my absolute delight that you and I are also tied to the same umbilical cord. And we are Guru Bhai, simply both were nurtured by the same alumni matter, the Venerable Banaras Hindu University, which was mistakenly announced as IIT Bhubaneswar. It is IIT Banaras Hindu. All right, sir. Perchance I am the elder brother. Therefore, it is a double pleasure for me to have the opportunity to thank you today. Sir, your professional and academic journey has been truly phenomenal. And it sets an example for our students and the class of 2023 of how planning and preparation backed by hard work and integrity can script a truly transformational, professional, and personal journey for each one of them. Your convocation address was deeply meaningful, and I'm sure your message and your exhortations will continue to resonate in all our minds, but especially in the minds of the class of 2023 as they look ahead to an exciting and fulfilling journey ahead. Allow me, sir, to convey our heartfelt appreciation for you to be able to be with us and bless our students. Thank you. Chairman, Great Lakes Institute of Management, Sri Mohan Lakhum Raju. Vision of transforming education first in India and now with your successful forays in attracting foreign students to various study programs delivered from India has impacted a large number of learners. For a country like ours, this is human service to the large masses of Indian youngsters looking for direction and craving for quality education. Now with your digital endeavors, you're also addressing the long-standing issue of providing access to quality education, especially for those whose circumstances do not allow them to partake high quality higher education, either because of cost, lack of seats and or logistics. Great Lakes has grown under your leadership in more ways than I can describe. We thank you for your emancipated leadership and energy, quintessential to laying the foundation and growing of a meritocratic and professionally driven institution. Thank you for your sustained and motivational presence amongst the Great Lakes stakeholders. Director Great Lakes Institute of Management, Burga Mr. Devashi Sanyal. Sir, you have been the chief motivator and I dare say Mark Darshak for Great Lakes Gurgaon, and we have grown as an institution from strength to strength under your tutelage. Our campus being ranked in the top B schools of the country is something that was built upon the confidence, determination, expertise, and leadership that you brought to the table. Your drive, perseverance, and fierce determination to remain utterly focused under extreme pressures and excruciating personal battles has been and is truly legendary. You, sir, define the term integrity in your own special way, and that itself is the most precious message that the class of 2023 can take away as their key touchstone for being called a professional. Sir, please accept my encomiums and gratitude for being who you are. Thank you. Respected faculty colleagues, I convey my heartfelt gratitude, deep appreciation for you for ceaselessly and selflessly toiling to prepare the class of 2023, making them capable of facing their individual journeys towards excellence and success. Thank you. I think they deserve an applause. A special note of thanks goes to our program directors, Professor Purnima Gupta, Professor Jones Matthew, and Professor VP Singh for their leadership, guidance, and sustained shape running of the delivery of high quality learning outcomes for our class of 2023. Take a bow. Thank you. This one is difficult, but I'll try. Allow me to express my deepest appreciation for Professor Purnima Gupta, who planned and executed once again a flawless convocation while emerging from a soul-crunching personal loss of the gravest kind that occurred only weeks ago. Professor Purnima, you exemplify quiet professionalism and unflinching self-control of the highest order, remaining steadfast on your professional commitments. For I for detail to mount this convocation map has not wavered even for a moment while you and your family 
world being buffeted by a tsunami of extreme personal tragedy. Thank you, sounds small, but for whatever it is worth, thank you. And God bless you and your two children. We are truly blessed to have you at Great Lakes program. Our CEO of Great Lakes Institute of Management, Mr. Gautamullah Khamraju and his team, thank you for your sustained commitment in visualizing, planning, implementing, and supervising some of the key processes and infrastructure that helps us deliver high quality outcomes for all our stakeholders. The class of 2023 is clearly an outcome of your team's initiative and execution of the admissions outreach, resulting in Great Lakes Gurgaon getting focused and motivated set of students. Thank you to you and your entire team. I thank the volunteering students of Great Lakes who have helped us in conducting this program today flawlessly. Bravo, and thank you for your support. All staff members in administration, IT, program management, Student services, please accept our deepest appreciation for providing a seamless experience to the class of 2023 and making this communication a success. Thank you. CCS team led by Michelle Yasharma, I record our deepest appreciation for your hard work in finding suitable careers for our students through sustained coaching and persuasion. I thank you and your entire team. Yes, yes, from industry and academia, parents, for your presence today. Your presence is motivational to all of us, and we hope that we will continue to have your attention and good wishes in the future. Thank you. Finally, to the class of 2023, congratulations. But do remember, this is a new beginning. Be good, chase excellence in whatever you do, but most importantly, be human, remain concerned for others. God bless and God speed. Thank you, Jai Hind. Thank you, sir. I would now request you all to please stand for the national anthem. <laughs> I kindly ask the audience to remain standing till the procession leaves the hall. Once the procession leaves the hall, I request the graduates to follow the ushers who will guide you to the venue for the group photograph with the chief guest and the faculty. We invite you all to join us for lunch here.
graduates are requested to remain seated. Everyone, please be seated. Degrees and certificates will be available at the registration desk for you to collect. We have put up a photo, uh, photo booth near the registration desk in the lobby. Please utilize this for creating lasting memories. Now, we first request PJDM Bash Section A to move out as guided by captures for the group photograph. Rest of the graduates are requested to please be seated. Hello. 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 Hello.